this is um, just an, another little bit of a texturing and 3D painting tutorial, just showing you how to merge some of the techniques together to create some cool effects. So, um, uh, in this video, um, I'm going to be combining techniques that I've shown you in the past and just showing you what you can achieve um, with all of the texturing techniques that we've looked at so far. So uh, in the previous video I, I created a UV map and applied a, a nice kind of uh, wooden texture to my crate here and I applied this um, kind of roughed up um, dirt texture onto my model too. So I've got a nice um, a little bit more detail on there. If I use the same uh, 3D uh, painting technique that I've shown you in the previous 3D painting video um, remember that lives in texture and 3D paint tool. You can take this further. So you could, um, uh, if I hold down B, and uh, I wanted to draw on here, you know, you could you could even do a kind of uh, graffiti uh, thing to this. So um, if you imagine uh, someone's come along and just sort of carved the name on this. Um, you could you can achieve kind of like pretty cool um, features that way um, changing the opacity maybe uh, you could do stuff um, like more kind of uh, painterly effects so you could like rough up and, and create more opacity in here you could you know do a kind of uh, if you wanted it to look like it's been kind of like painted, you could do that. And remember, if you if you kind of only wanted to paint uh, one side of this, remember in the previous uh, videos, if you go to face mode, um, select the face that you want, and uh, isolate it and then come back to your brush and you just want to paint that one side um, you can be doing so so again it's just another nice way to combine some of your techniques and create um, even more detail and more realism in your texture Remember to always save your scene and save your texture. Um, but yeah, it's just combining different methods to create um, some more interesting effects. So that is using UV mapping and uh, 3D painting.